Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. Until now we have covered under SAP Finance the topics which are already grayed out on the top. We will now continue with budgeting. Budgeting is done under two different formats. One is budgeting in WBS element and the other is budgeting in Fund Center. WBS elements are nothing but work, work breakdown structures. Active budgeting control exists over here. Error messages or warning messages can be given when actual and commitment reach certain percentage of budget. Budgeting cannot be broken down to cost element or cost element group level. The lowest level of budget is in WBS element as a lump sum. Whereas in the other case of fund center, the budgeting and budget control will be done at cost center level and at cost element group level. So this is the major difference between these two. The next topic we will look into is project system. So although we are looking only into SAP finance and controlling modules, and project system, joint venture, and consolidation are independent modules, we will just look at an overview right now to understand what exactly does it mean. But these are not a part of SAP finance and controlling. They are independent modules which need to be implemented separately. What project system does is it defines the project scope if there is a project within an organization which needs to be uh, implemented, then SAP does have this capability to do it. It breaks down the project into manageable work packages. It coordinates the time and the dependencies for the tasks. It provides a schedule and it plans and allocates the resources in the project. It also analyzes and levels the human resource capacity in the project. It allocates the funds and collects the costs for the project. And this is what an example project life cycle looks like, where you have project definition, you have a structuring, you have planning, budgeting, execution, and closing. This is a very typical project life cycle which you will see in any organization. And this is very much useful, especially for those organizations which have manufacturing as a part of their activities. And there are different functions, for example, project definition, which comes under every phase. WBS, which also comes under almost every phase except for project definition. And you can see the status and the timeline at the bottom where you have created your project definition, your structuring and planning, and then you have your budgeted availability control. Your execution phase covers the released settlement rules, etc. This is basically what project systems as a module does. And as we discussed earlier, the work breakdown structures, the hierarchical model of the tasks to be performed in the project are covered under this. Again, joint venture is an independent sub-module which some companies choose not to implement. Joint venture is actually a traditional concept which is mainly used for uh, all those companies which have different joint venture agreements or a parent company and the child company have a joint venture agreement. This is an example again of how a joint venture would be created where you have two different company codes, one gross and one net company code. And under that you will have different joint venture agreements for corporate and for ventures. The last slide which we look into is consolidation. This may be a little difficult to read but what it is ideally saying is SAP also has a module called BCS for business consolidation, which provides 
the capability to consolidate your different group companies into one module and this consolidation is very important for MNCs especially who have operations in more than 15-20 countries they have different manufacturing plants they have different distribution channels etc these companies can be consolidated and this consolidation structure is more or less showing that as you see on the right side it also shows you the different financial and accounting corporate activities etc this is more like a flow chart which is used uh, for different purposes during the consolidation phase and lastly the consolidation process basically the process may or may not include these steps this is an exhaustive list of the different kind of processes which are a part of consolidation activity you will have interunit elimination manual elimination you may also have consolidation of investments you may have consolidation of uh, manual consolidation of investments there may be reclassification and adjustments and revalidations during the consolidation so this is what the sap bcs module provides that's all for now in the next video we will cover a demo as to how exactly you open sap and you log into sap and how exactly do you operate sap on a basic level Thank you very much for watching Edupedia World Videos.